Well, hi, I'm going to give you a quick screencast of uh, how to look up, how to add these Google add-ons to a doc, a sheet, or a slide. So what Google add-ons are, they are um, a small program that will add to the efficiency, the productivity of your Google Doc, your Google Slide, or your Google Sheet. And we'll talk more about that as we go through, and I'll show you how to add them and give you examples. So if you're interested, you would go up to the toolbar and you say, hmm, what's this add-on thing? You click on that and go to Get Add-ons. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring up, uh, right now I'm in a Google Doc, so it's going to bring up for you the available add-ons to the Google Doc program. Um, let's say you were interested in some programs that would help you add photos to Google Documents. So you could come up and put something in the search bar, photos, I pressed enter, and it'll bring you up all the relevant add-ons that you can use or you can pick from. So you can see I've already added top stock photos and I've used top stock photos um, in my Google Doc and I added this document. So the way I did that, I went to my add-ons and you can see I have three add-ons um, installed right now. One is Easy Bib Bibliography Creator Magic Rainbow Unicorns, which sounds really fun, and it is. It, it creates this font right here where you get a rainbow font. Not really so much for productivity, but just for fun. And then let's say Top Stock Photos. So the nice thing about this is I can um, add photos to my document without going out into a separate window into, you know, Google Docs, or, or I'm sorry, into Google and searching and finding a picture that way. So um, let's just say Flowers. And then you can see it will give me a variety of flowers that I could add on to my document. Okay, so if I wanted to, I really don't want to, but I can always delete it. So let me add on, oops, um, yeah, just click up here. Uh, let's add on this one. Ta-da! And I don't want it, so I'm going to remove it. Ah, wait a minute. There we go. I deleted it. Okay, so that is an example of some add-ons for Google Docs. So get add-ons. You can go through here. There's so many, and the nice thing, if you just hover, it will give you how many users, um, a, a small description, and see what I look for. Yeah, I, I'm an occupational therapist. I'm looking for uh, mostly some different types of add-ons that are going to help kids with maybe some specific learning disabilities with reading or writing. So if I can find and, and scroll through these and I say, aha, that might be really useful for, you know, for students. So like, let's say like Rhyme Finder here. Rhyme Finder allows you to select words whoops, in your document and supplies you with rhyming in a sidebar. You know, that's one that I actually added to, I'm creating, so if I go over to a Google Sheet, um, I'm creating um, a list of these different add-ons for Google Docs that I think might be helpful. So you can see I have Rhyme Finder here and Magic, Magic Rainbow Unicorns, one called Pupil Preference. So um, that's what I'm starting to add and, and uh, consolidate. But if I wanted some extra productivity uh, add-ons for Google Sheets, the same thing is available to me. I go to the add-on toolbar, I scroll through or I search for the type of add-ons that I want, and they're very easy to install and use. You can do the same thing for Google Slides. Aha! This is the screenshot I'm making right now, or the screencast I'm making right now. So, same thing applies again. Add-ons, get add-ons, and I can scroll through or I can search for some extra, you know, um, productivity tools. There's not a lot on Google Slides you can see. There's not a whole lot available, but the one that I did install was, again, Upsplash Photos. It's similar to the other Photos program that I showed you for Google Docs, and I like it. It's how I inserted um, a few of these pictures here in my screencast. Um, that's how I did this camera, so I put, like, you know, camera and I got all these different photos that I can use. 
Okay, so Google add-ons, I'm still learning about them. I didn't know anything about them until I started taking this class. So I'm excited to um, uh, kind of put together some, uh, like a list of ones that are going to be uh, applicable to my teachers and to students with special needs or, um, you know, learning disabilities and uh, and keep keep on uh, trying to find more ways to make learning easier for them. So thank you and over and out.